हेलो एवरीवन हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर क्लास फोर्थ दैट इज पेयर ऑफ एंगल्स ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्स लाइंस एंड एंगल्स सो इन दिस क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट हाउ द पेयर ऑफ एंगल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एंगल्स मेड व्हेन द पैल लाइंस इंटरसेक्टिंग एंड नॉन इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइन्स आर टूगेदर so let get start the chapter of uh, mean chapter is already started let get start the class that contains a topic pair of angles so first of all the pair of angles you have to learn that is complementary and supplementary which types of angle it is complementary and supplementary what are complementary and supplementary what angles so complementary is are two angles complementary are two angles two angles are said to be are said to be complementary angles if their if their sum is equal to 90 degree what you have understand you have understand that the two angles are said to be complementary if their sum is equals to 90 degree means if there is angle a plus angle b we got a sum of 90 degree i hope you understand okay now second one is a supplementary angle two angles are said to be are said to be are said to be supplementary angles if there if there sum is equal to 180 degree means in the same way in complementary the sum of both the angles is equals to 90 degree in the same way in supplementary the sum of both the angles are 180 degree now there are some question related to them so first do them then going to our topic so the question is the supplement of the angle the supplement of the angle measuring 52 degree so you have to find supplement so first of all the supplement first you have all you have to know that the supplement is the sum of 180 degree so here what you have get you get that if we add both the angle like a plus b is equals to 180 degree here my, let a and b different something uh, 52 degree here take 52 degree plus b is equals to 180 degree so the b is equals to 180 degree minus 52 that is 8 120 degree this how you have to do your question have you understand now there is a now our main topic that is pair of angles starts from here okay now what is pairs of angle pairs of exam first that is if a ray 
if a ray stands on a line if a ray stands on a line then the sum of then the sum of sum of two adjacent two adjacent angles so formed is 180 degree means if a ray stands on a line means if we draw a line and there is a ray that is this then the sum of both the adjacent angle that is a and b so a plus b is equals to 180 what if a line is drawn and a ray is stands on a line then the adjacent angle so form have a sum of 180 degree now axiom second that tells us that if the if the sum of two adjacent sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degree then the non common arm then the non common arm of the angle form a line means if the sum of the adjacent is 180 degree then non common arm of the angles form a line it is told as that if there are two adjacent angles means this and this then the non common arm means this one this one and this one form a line understand now theorem 1 that is related to pair of angle is that theorem 1 that tells us if two if two lines intersect each other if two lines intersect each other then the then the vertically opposite angles angles are equal what if two lines intersect each other like this way then the vertically opposite angles are equal means this angle 1 and this angle 2 as we have learned earlier ki vertically opposite angles kya hote hain to wo ye hote hain but the theorem tells that these vertically opposite angles are equal so angle so angle 1 is equals to angle 2 in the same way angle 3 equals to angle 4 this is tells by our theorem first now next one now here are some question related to this theorem only that is question diagram is that uh this one this and this this is 2x minus 20 this is 65 so what is the measures of this angle a b d and c okay so which property is used here is that that the all the sum of the angles is of adjacent that is equals to 180 degree Do the sum of all the angles that is x degree plus sixty five plus two x minus twenty is equals to one eighty degree. So the three x plus sixty five minus twenty is equals to one eighty degree. Now you have to take the angles to one side that is 
minus 65 plus 20 then what we get 200 minus 65 that is 135 degree is equals to 3x now x what is the angle x angle x is 445 degree so the answer is 45 degree next question is that there is also another question that is a diagram is made a diagram is made here this is a common here it is 2y here it is 2y it is 5y so you have to find the value of y so first of all by property of vertically opposite angle this angle is equals to 5y and this all adjacent sum is equals to 180 degree so 2y plus 2y plus 5y is equals to 180 degree so here 9y is equals to 180 degree so y is equals to 20 degree proof as well as we use a two properties here that the adjacent sum is equals to 180 degree and the vertically opposite angles are equal next one next is also a question given that is a line is made this one this this is 112 degree and given that AB is a mirror and PQ PQ is an incident ray while the QR is an reflected ray then it is a property of a physics that the incident angle is equals to reflected angle. So, here I is equals to R. I is equals to R. Therefore, this let me take it as X plus X. So when X plus X plus 112 is equals to Z 180 degree by the properties of adjacent. So, 2X plus 112 is equals to 180 degree. So, 2x is equals to 180 degree minus 112 degree that is 8, 168. So, therefore, the value of x is equals to 34 degree. Here is the answer. Now, next one is our topic that is a transversal line. What is a transversal line? So, the topic is transversal line the definition is told us that a line a line which intersect two or more lines at distinct means different point is called a transversal of the given lines that is L and M are two lines and AB is a transversal. We are looking, we are writing theory here, but the diagram is this. This is line L, this is line M and this is a transversal line AB. That is, it is AB while this is line L and this is line M. So, a transversal line is that, that cuts the distinct place each point on different lines so the transversal line means it can be many it can be in the this form it can cut different and the many points and the many lines at the same time next one is 
एंगल मेड बाय द ट्रांसवर्जल लाइन वेन विथ टू लाइन्स हेयर द क्वेश्चन इज मेड ट्रांसवर्जल एंड ट्रांसवर्जल एंड एंगल्स मेड बाय इट विथ टू लाइन्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू ड्रॉ डाइग्राम दैट इज दिस वन एंड द ट्रांसवर्जल लाइन इज क्रॉसिंग इट सो द डिफरेंट एंगल दैट आर मेड आर दिस इज अ लाइन ए बी एंड दिस इज अ लाइन सी डी and this is a line segment p and this is a q and the angles are made is 1 4 2 3 3 and this one is 5 6 and 7 and this can is 8 now the different angles formed are that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total angles made are total angles are 8 now they have also different names that are first one is a corresponding corresponding angles which are angles are known as corresponding angle let us see the diagram corresponding angles four pair of corresponding angles lie when our two lines is cut by a transversal line so the pair of corresponding are angle 1 comma angle 5 these are corresponding to each other in the same way angle 4 and angle 8 angle 2 and angle 6 and angle 4 angle 3 and angle 7 so these are known as a corresponding angle now next angles that are alternate alternate interior angle which pairs of interior angles alternate interior angle pairs are just opposite but interior that are angle 3 and angle 5 angle 2 and angle 8 as you have seen in your screen a diagram is given you can check from that only next one is our type that is alternate exterior alternate exterior angles so the pairs are made are that is angle 1 and angle 7 angle 4 and angle 6 these are the pairs of the alternate exterior angle the last one type is that consecutive consecutive interior or co interior angles which one consecutive interior or co interior angles on the same side on the same side of the transversal of the transversal means you have to check the angle on the same side of a transversal is on the one side only don't take the other side also at the same time so these are angles like so 
so the consecutive interior or co interior angles on the same side of the transversal the pairs are angle 3 and angle 8 and the angle 2 and angle 5 so these are the pairs of the co interior angles now here we complete our fourth topic that is a pair of angles in this topic we have actually what we have studied the pairs or different pairs of angles which are made when the two or three lines are crossed each other in the form of intersecting or non intersecting line so we have completed the major portion of the chapter 6 that is lines and angles now we meet you our second class means our fifth class that is lines parallel to the same line Thank you so much for this class meet you soon in our next class thank you